Um, welcome everyone. If you're new to my channel, I'm Dawn Duvall. I live in the Villages, Florida, and this is a comedy hour on Tuesdays. You never know what you're going to get when you come to see me um, on a live video. There we go. Let me get my phone thing out of the way. All right, I think we're good. Now I just need to organize. But anyways, welcome. Um, please um, let me know that you're here so I know I do have some people watching, and I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit, so give me a minute so I can try to get this um, a little bit better positioned. It's a few minute delay. Um, if you're watching this on the replay, welcome. Um, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I have, I'll, it's going to be uh, 10 years in February coming up. So uh, bear with me, you guys. I'm trying to get this thing um, adjusted so I can get everything in the picture. So I'm going to move my paper up some and see how that works. Let me adjust my camera. I think we might be getting there. Um, anyway, so if you're watching this on the replay, Make sure that you like my Facebook page, and if you're watching it on YouTube, um, if you'll make sure that you subscribe and hit that little bell, and that will make sure that you get notified every time I post a video. And I'm about two weeks behind in posting my Facebook Live, so I will get that done. Since we're going to be down here for a month, I, I have plenty of time that I should be able to work on. I'm trying to adjust the camera. Sorry, guys. I have plenty of time that I will be able to um, get some get some computer work done. That's my hope. That's my plan. So, um, all right. I think we're going to start here in just a minute. I'm just trying to shift everything. I want to make sure I've got it where y'all can see what's in the picture. So bear with me just a minute. Okay. I'm going to move my paper up and I think we'll be good to go. Let me move this out of the way. All right. This evening we are going to do a one sheet wonder and, um, I'll show you that in just a minute, and we're going to work with the uh, Mini Mates uh, stamp set. This is uh, 19 photopolymer stamps. I'm sorry, these are cling, the red rubber cling. There's 19 stamps, a lot of um, sentiments that have the, you know, if you get well, and then it's got this part that you can put on the um, life is, you know, things that you can, that coordinate with each other. So we're going to use this for the One Sheet Wonder. And when we get done with that, then we're going to work with, um, if we have time, which I think we should, uh, then we're going to work with one of the new celebration sets, which is the Darling Donkeys, and uh, you'll see that. So um, we're going to use this uh, after we get done. And this is on page 43 of the, of the annual catalog. If you haven't seen this one, uh, you might want to take a look at that. It's only $23, and you get 19, cent, uh, 19 stamps. And they are the Cling all right, and we're going to use the thanks because I need some thank you cards. So I'm going to use the thanks for that. All right, so let me move my book out of the way. And um, we're going to do this one sheet wonder. And this is um, a little bit different than what I've, what I've done before. Now, this one's only going to make, um, we're going to make five cards with this particular one. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. Okay, so we're going to take and cut our cardstock a little differently than what we normally do. We're going to work with this paper here. Let me show you this. This is a celebration, so starting in January, January and February, for every $50 that you spend, then you get to choose something from our um, celebration catalog. So this is one of the free papers, and I'll show you the cards that I made with this when we're done. Um, let me just pull out the, there's uh, 12 sheets, so you get uh, six uh, six sheets, two of each design, and I've already used up one of these, so, oh, no, wait, there we go, yeah, all right, so there's, all right, so there's one side, and then the back side are, um, that's the one you didn't see right here, this one, this is pretty, it's dark, but it's pretty, this purple, and then you've got the back side to that, and then we have daisies, and we have a, um, some light colors, and this has got yellow dots on the background, we're going to do this one, and then this one I used, um, you'll see these when we get done. I'll show you the cards that I made with this one. But this is the this is the piece right here that we're going to work with, okay? All right, but I'm first want, we're going to cut our cardstock a little bit different than what you're normally going to do. That's what I'm talking about. So first of all, let's start with, this is a normal, uh, what we would call a normal, a regular piece of cardstock that's cut at 5.5 by 8.5, okay? But what we want to do, we still want our 5.5, but we want to cut this at five and a quarter. So I'm gonna cut this at five and a quarter because I only wanna leave an inch right here. And then what what that will allow us to do, if I can pull this up, is we're gonna fold this, okay? So we're gonna fold that down and then we're gonna attach our paper 
and then we're going to put a strip on here that's going to be the back side so you'll see the process so now what I wanted to do rather than cut my paper and this is fine if you keep if you if you cut your regular at five and a half by eight and a half and then cut it down to five and a quarter then you've got a nice piece that you can use for something else however I thought rather than do that and waste it I can cut the strip off right so we want it to be five and a half so it means we need to leave our eleven and a half this way but I want to cut it uh, so we've got our eight and a half at the top and we know we're gonna normally we'll score this at four and a quarter right so I'm gonna go ahead and score it now at four and a quarter let me move my blade down all right so we're gonna score that now we're gonna move it over because I want this at um, five and a quarter right because I want another inch I'm gonna add an inch to where I scored so I'm gonna move this to five and a quarter and I'm gonna I'm going to cut this which then gives me this a larger strip so it's all in how you want to do it okay so we're gonna cut that off so now I've scored it eight and a half at the top I've scored it at four and a quarter moved it over to five and a quarter and then cut it right so now that we're gonna turn it and we're at our 11 is at the top so now I'm gonna line this up at five and a half right which is our normal size card and we'll line that up at five and a half and then we're just and then we'll pull down and cut so now I have my two card bases and I went ahead and cut the other one so we're gonna work with let me get these over here all right so let me move this out of the way for just a minute it's um, a little awkward when you're working in the RV because I don't have a lot of space all right so I'm gonna score so we're gonna do one with that's black and we're gonna do two that are granny apple green okay and I'm just folding on the where I scored at four and a quarter and again if you want to cut you know just cut your cardstock at your normal five and a half by eight and a half that's fine then just cut it down to four and a quarter I mean five and a quarter I just felt like this gives me a longer piece that I could use for something else okay so we're gonna be making five cards however we're gonna cut six pieces so let me show you what we're gonna do now let me move these out of the way for just a moment I'll bring my my um, cutting blade back in and thank you guys for um, being patient <laughs> with the door <laughs> knocking and everything and I don't see any comments I've got I uh, see people let me there we go there we go hi everyone I'm now I can see them okay hang on a minute let me get them back over here so I can see y'all okay hey everyone thank you again for joining me all right so now we're going to take our 12 by 12 and these are this is the top of our paper okay so we're going to take this and we're going to cut these at five and a quarter we're going to make two cuts right so I'm going to five and a quarter so I'm going to line this up here and I'm going to cut it at five and a quarter I'm going to move it over and cut a second time at five and a quarter we get it lined up all right five and a quarter okay that's all right so we got these two this piece we're going to use so I'm going to set this strip away aside so I'm just going to lay that right there for now I'm going to take these two pieces okay so these we cut at five and a quarter so we want to turn these and we're going to cut them at four inches right so that's going to give us our piece that we need for the front of our card and you'll get the gist of this once I get started in this so let's see so we're gonna do four inches here I'm cutting both at the same time because it saves time obviously and we'll slide this down hang on a minute I want to um, make sure my paper is even all right so we're gonna line this up at four and we're gonna cut that and that gives us six uh, six pieces right one two three four five six now move my cutter out of the way that's all we're going to use this for so I'm going to put that right over here give me one second hopefully it doesn't fall off my potato thing okay so we're going to take these I'm going to set one aside and then these are the ones that and I just realized I cut my well that's okay we'll just do our paper different um I wanted my paper to go this way but I guess we'll do it like that but that's okay not a problem I can ro roll with it all right so this piece here we're gonna cut which I do need my cutter now that I think about it um, and we're gonna slice this at three quarters of an inch and um, let's see this is gonna be well we're gonna have to use the back side of this one but that's okay so that's what we're gonna do I need my cutter back all right so the sixth piece one of your one of your six squares we're gonna cut down and we want the longer piece right so we want to do um, 
let's see, this is going to be five and a half. Is that correct? Let me find my ruler. Oh, we'll just use this right here. Yeah. So this is our five and no five and a no five and a half right here. So I want the five and a half side at the top so that I can get. We're going to cut three quarters of an inch um, each piece. So I'm going to slide it over to here first to start my first cut. I'm cutting three quarters each. Let me move my cut. Um, so we're going to cut three quarters of an inch, and then we're going to move this over again and do three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to cut these. There's two. We'll move this one. We've got three quarters of an inch. That'll make three. Three and three quarters of an inch. Give us four. And then three quarters of an inch will give us five. Okay. Hopefully I did this right. For some reason it's making me second guess myself. All right, so these are going to be the pieces that we're going to use on the back side. All right, now we'll move this out of the way. Okay, so now the next step we're going to do, and this is good if you need to make a lot of cards. Um, welcome, everyone. Uh, this is really nice if you've got to make a lot of cards and you can do an assembly line. So we're going to line everything up. I'm going to bring in my white um, insert. So we're going, to go ahead, we're going to go ahead and line these now. So I'm going to go ahead and put these down, and um, that way when we get ready to attach everything, everything will be in and ready to go. So we'll just put some seal. And um, so those of you who live in Florida obviously know that we're having a cold spell. I'm going to talk to y'all while we're doing this. And um, we woke up this morning in the villages. It was 39 degrees. I thought I was going to die. I mean, it was so cold. And it, here's the funny thing. My dog doesn't want to walk normally in the mornings anymore. Hang on a minute. I got this thing sticking down here, and it's crooked. That's going to drive me crazy. Um, she doesn't want to walk. Well, she likes the cold weather. So needless to say, I've got a little shred. Needless to say, this morning, she was hightailing it around. I was power walking with the dog. I mean, it's, it's the craziest thing. I think I'm going to use my uh, liquid glue. And um, so I had my woolly winter coat. I had um, long pants, sweatshirt, the whole kit and caboodle. It was cold. And I know that you guys up, you know, in the north or the um, out west, Midwest, it's that's not anything from what y'all are used to. But let me tell you, it is cold. So tonight it is dropping down. And um, it's a little chilly. It's not a little. It's a lot. So, um, but anyways, we are, um, whoops, I just, uh, shut my page. Hang on a minute. Um, so we have a fireplace. We have a gas fireplace in our RV. So I told my husband, I said, well, if it gets really cold, we can turn that little sucker on and, um, have it ready for us, to, um, you know, turn on for a little bit, take the, take the edge off and then we can turn it off. So that's kind of exciting. When we bought the RV, we had no idea that, well, we didn't realize it. And we were like, oh my God, it's got a um, fireplace. <laughs> that kind of worked out. So anyways, we're going to be here for the month. So hopefully there'll be some nice warm weather. I think we are going to see some weather um, warming up here soon. But, you know, for the, those of us that are not used to the cold, it really does just get into your bones. And I'm working right along here, and then we'll get to the next... An, a, I didn't put these on, and I probably should have to save time, but that's all right. It allows me to talk to you guys. So, um, anyways, so our catalog, uh, we get to pre-order um, from our new catalog that comes out in January. And for those of you that are not a demonstrator, this is one of the reasons why you should join my um, my stamping community, is we get to pre-order stuff ahead of... Um, everybody else and the nice thing about it is guess what is going to be available January and we get to pre-order it today which I'm going to probably order something tomorrow we get to order the mini Stampin' Cut boss and emboss machine look out it's going to be fun so I'm going to have that shipped here though I didn't bring any paper to be honest with you I packed I made enough for yeah there's five weeks five Tuesdays in the month of December so I was working like a crazy person trying to get prepared. So I did not bring any excess card stock or anything. So even though I might have it, I probably won't be able to use it because I don't even have any dies with me. But anyways, okay, so here's our card bases. Now, 
because I was talking and not paying attention, um, when I cut this, our flowers are going this way, which means I need to put my card like this, right? Which is fine, but I'm going to glue it like this so I know. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to lay this down. I'm going to put some uh, a seal. I'm going to turn it this way so I can uh, get some seal on my uh, cardstock. And then on this flap is where we're going to place this seal right here. Um, just to let you all know, if you purchase a, a, say, a seal from us and it's not working properly, you need to call your uh, demonstrator um, or Stampin' Up! and they will send you something. Uh, they will send you a um, one to replace it at no cost. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so we're going to lay this here, and I'm going to, and the reason I put the, my inside sheet is I want to make sure I cover that up, right? So I want this to cover that, and then I'm, and it may be off just a little bit, but I'm not going to sweat over that. And then we're just going to fold this over, right? So look at that. Okay, so there's that. Now, I'm going to take one of my strips, and I want to see, oh, uh, look at that. I did. I cut them the wrong way. Daggummit. See, I told you guys. I'm telling you. Let me find my um, little strippy here. Hang on. Cut them wrong. Imagine that. I don't know how to cut. Um, well, it's still going to only be the four inches, isn't it? Yeah, that's not going to work. So let's see. I can use this. Hang on. I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut this. Let's see. How big is this one? This is... What is this? This is one and a half. So I can get two uh, three quarters. So let me let me cut this at three quarters of an inch. All right. So that's um, three quarters is going to be right there. No, I can only get one three quarters out of this. It looks like. Hang on, that. So let's do that. I'll at least get one, and then I'll use that other square, and you'll get the gist of it of what we're going to do. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to cut this at five. So this is five and a half, and want this at five and a quarter, right? So that's where I messed up. But that's okay. I can fix it. It's no big deal. Five and a quarter. So we'll get we can, we'll get four of the cards done. That's okay. It'll work. All right. So there's five and a quarter, and then that gives me a little um, strip there. Let me cut this other piece, and then we'll um, we'll work. And I'll show you what we'll do on the other side. So we're gonna cut this at five and a quarter. And then we'll do, whoopsie, hang on a minute. Let me get, lift this up. Five, and I don't like not being able to see you guys. You know, I can see your comments and stuff, but I can't see that when I'm <laughs> right here. But that's okay. All right, so we're going to cut these at five and a quarter. Now we'll get these going in the right direction anyways, but um, that's okay. But we'll still, it'll still work with what I want to do. All right, we might not get all five, um, five of them done, but that's okay. All right, so now you see what I'm going to do here? We're going to place this right there. So we'll put a um, piece of our, let me get my, oh, I didn't even put my um, um, my, my microphone on. My apologies, you probably couldn't hear me. All right, so I want the, I want the yellow to show through, even though I really think this, this um, black with the red, these red and gr uh, granny green, granny apple green is gorgeous. So we're going to put this here, right? So we're going to line that up. We're going to lay that down. And now we get to see both sides of our paper, right? So if I open it like this, because my design's going that way. Now here's what we're going to do. I'm going to cut an inch. I'm going to cut an inch square. And this is, I'll show you, because I'm not going to be able to do this on all the cards. And then you'll see it on the other cards that I just did. That probably should be an inch and a half, actually. Yeah, that's all right. We'll just this should work. And then I'm gonna turn it at an angle. It should be like an inch and a half, or you could do two inches, but this should work. All right. So we're gonna take this, and this is what we're gonna do. Just so you get the gist of it. So since this is here, right? My yellow's out there. I want my yellow on the ends, or I want these on the inside. So you're gonna just place these in the corners, right? So look at that. Isn't that clever? So let me get this on here, and then you'll see one of the finished cards even though I boogered up on when I cut them. I don't know what it is with me and cutting. I can do it, but I guess I get nervous when you guys are watching me. Isn't that funny? I normally don't get nervous when I do stuff like this. But I guess, you know, we're all human and we all make mistakes. I seem to make them every Tuesday. <laughs> 
All right, so this is this is really an easy way to make a lot of cards. So if you're getting ready to do your Christmas cards and you haven't done them, this might be something you want to do. Plus, it helps you use up all that um, designer series paper that or you know pattern paper that you have sitting around. So that's what it's going to look like, right? So there's our card, beautiful flowers. We got our polka dots there, right? And then you open it up, and then they get to see both sides of the paper again. Isn't that pretty? All right, so there's one that we're going to do. Now uh, let's move that over here. Let's pull in a granny apple green. And again, my um, and I could put the yellow here. I think I'll do that. Um, I think I'd rather do that on the red. So I'm going to again. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to line this up here and cover up my paper and get most of my white. And I'm not worried about it showing here because that's going to be covered up anyways, right? So we'll just put a couple of strips of adhesive right here. You want to make sure you get it um, all the way onto the edge because that's what's going to um, hold down the flap to our card. Hang on a second. Let me get it up this way. All right, so we're going to fold that down. Hang on a minute. I got, I'm going to get a little bit right there. There we go. All right, so we got that there. Now then we'll put, isn't that pretty with the grainy apple? And we'll do our, whoops, we need one of the longer ones. So we're going to do another um, yellow. All right, so we'll put that here and just line that up again and place that down. What do you think about that, huh? Welcome, everyone. Okay, and then we're going to do this again. So I've got my other little um, piece here that I cut. So let me go ahead and cut another piece. I should have done this all at one time, but that's okay. And then we're going to cut our, we're going to put this at an angle. Um, on your on your cutting blade and this piece is small. Uh, I cut this at an inch. You probably should do the two inches Which would probably be a lot easier. So we're gonna cut that up and let's go ahead and add this to the card So you get the gist of it, right? So this is a nice way um, To make some quick cards and with the holidays coming and stuff. I have all my cards made I just got to get them uh, tomorrow. will be um, addressing them getting them addressed and getting getting them in the mail and that way they get to see the pretty paper on the inside, right? So just another way that you can decorate your envelope, I mean the envelope, the inside of your card, and then place whatever your sentiment is that you want to place on it. And we'll put that right down there. So isn't that pretty? All right, so there's our second card. Let me move that over there. Let's bring in, um, and this is Cherry Cobbler. So let's do a yellow one on the outside. Let's flip this one around. So we're going to do yellow. All right, and this is Bumblebee, to let, just to let you know. And this paper is called, it is the Flower and Field Designer Series paper. And again, this is from in the new celebration, which starts uh, January 5th, if I'm not mistaken. And um, spend $50. If you don't have a demonstrator, I'd love to have you um, shop with me and help support my uh, business. And... If you do have a demonstrator, then obviously you want to shop with your demonstrator. But I would love to have you. And if you'd like to join, I'd love to have you join my um, my little my stamping family. All right, so there I'm going to put the dots on the outside. So I'm going to turn this one, and this is this card's going to go like that. See, now I can get my flowers to go up in the, the up and down direction. So let me put a piece of adhesive on here. All right, and see how fast these are coming together. So we're going to put that there. All right, and now we're going to take a piece, and this one I'm going to cut at, let's see, how long is this one? I'm going to cut this at an inch and a half. Let's do that. Let's see, what is it? Yeah, let's do this at an inch and a half. That gives me, or let's do inch and a quarter. Gives me a little bit more um, that I can show. Get my, And then we'll cut this in half, and we'll decorate the inside with this piece. So let's get that right there. And all we're doing is lining up the corners in the cutting track. And being that it's a small piece, I usually try to get it lined up and then I hold it down with my tray, with my little cutter uh, with the tray. There we go. All right, so we're going to slice that. And now we'll put the yellow on the inside because the inside of our card has got the black with the flowers. And I'm going to put my card like this. So now I want this to go oops I just did that wrong didn't I yeah I did I want my yellow on the inside all right let me cut another piece 
we'll use, use that on the next one. <laughs> Let's move this one out of the way. I'm so excited. Let's put him over there. We'll use him on the next one. All right, so we're going to cut this one at an inch and a half. All right, cut that little piece off right there. Turn this out of diagonal. Get that laid down in the track, and we'll put. There we go. Because you got to see what it looks like this way too. It's really pretty. I just um, really, really like this. I thought this was a neat design. So we're going to push those over there. All right. Whoops. You almost did it again. I hate messing up. You can see why. I just love this. I love this. Um, it's dark, but it's just really, really pretty. I like that. So I'm going to put this down here in this corner. So now we can see the, our bumblebee, right, with the dots. And we're going to lay that right there. And let that dry for a minute. And then we'll do the same thing with this. And we'll put that on here. And we're going to put him in the opposite corner. And you can choose whichever corners you want him in, right? You can put him in the left corner and the bottom right. But, um, I don't know, being a right, maybe this has something to do with being right-handed. All right, so there you go. There's our other card, right? Isn't that pretty? So then we'll do our sentiment, and then we'll open it up like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add our other paper, because we've got an, I've got enough of those strips to do one more without um, it being sh too short. So let's do the grainy apple, because I really like the grainy apple. Oh, i got two more, yeah. Um, let's see. Now, I really, like, I really like this one. So let's just do this grainy apple one here. We'll do it again. And what we'll do, all right, let's see. Uh, for whatever reason, my seal is not cooperating tonight. Okay, there we go. Let's pull this down just a tad. Isn't this a cute? I mean, isn't this a nice way to make cards? I mean, it really is. All right, so we're going to push that down there. All right, and then we have our dots. Our, uh, and see, I could put that there, but it's going to look funny, so we're not going to use those. I'll just, I'll leave this one for later. All right, so we're going to put that right there. So instead of making five cards, we're, we're making four. But it's okay. It will be all fine. And then we'll do donkeys. All right. Okay. So there's our there's our cards. Let me move the um, the one. I'm not gonna. Well, I can add the paper. I just won't add. Um, let me go ahead and add the paper to this one. And I will. Um, I'll fix it when I get home. Because I'll just cut another piece of paper. But I'm not gonna hold it all up for that. All right. So let's do that. And then we'll we'll do some quick sentiments. And then we'll move on to the next project. And we'll make sure we get that all lined up correctly. Isn't that pretty? I just love this paper. Okay, and we're going to pretend that that's going to go there, right? So if it's done right. All right, so there's our, um, these are our one, two, three, four. Oh, we do have five cards, don't we? One, two. Make sure I got one, two, three, four, and five, but we don't have our dots. So let's just move these guys over. And where's the one I just did? Uh, the last one here so we're going to use this little piece right here because I put glue on it right so we're going to put that there because we want to put that on the inside and then I have one little piece here that I'm going to cut and then we'll get this one decorated actually I'm just going to use my scissors this is going to be a little bit smaller but that's alright we'll make it work alright and then we're going to put adhesive on this one we're going to put him right it's not really that's, uh, it's going to be different, isn't it? Now, nah, let's don't do that. No, we're not, I don't want to do that. It's going to look funny. So we're, we're, gonna, we're not going to do that. We'll just leave the one right there for now. This one's not the right size, so we don't want to do that. Oh, wait. Here's one over here. Ah, I got an extra one. Look at that. I cut him from something. So there we go. At least we'll have, at least we'll have four that are complete. One will be half complete. And then I'll fix it. So, um, And I did not... I apologize. I did not have time to draw the names. I tried to do it just before I signed on, and it just was not cooperating. So I thought, no, I don't have time for this. So, <laughs> so um, I'll post them tomorrow. And uh, just check back if you don't mind. Uh, check back the page. And if your name's on there, make sure you leave me your mailing address. You can message me with that. And I did bring my postage scale and envelopes. So, um We'll get those. I'll get those in the mail to you in the next couple of days. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do some sentiments real quick, and then we'll knock this out and move on to the donkeys. Uh, all right. So we've got 
I'm going to use the Timeless Label Punch, and I've got my white card stock, and I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do these as thanks because I need to send out some thank you cards. So I'm going to use Granny Apple Green, Granny Apple, uh, yeah, Granny Apple Green, and then we're going to use some Cherry Cobbler. So we'll punch a couple of these along the way, and I think I might be able to, yeah, let's do it this way. All right, and again, this is from the Mini Mate stamp set that can be found on page 43 of the annual catalog. I'll put that there so you can see it. It takes just a minute. There's, a quite, there's quite a bit of delay on this thing. I'll move it up because it's, um, boy, it's really slow on the delay. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to stamp thanks down here, and I'll do, I guess I'll do two in Granny Apple, and let's punch those out. Let me get my chamois open so I can clean this, and let's go ahead and do, um, let's do two cherry cobbler ones. We'll just do that, and I know I'm probably wasting a lot of paper here, but that's all right. We need to, and we'll do, um, let's see, we'll do another, let's do another red since it's already on my ink. I'm already got it inked up. All right. Okay, doke. So let's close these up. These will go away. All right. So what do you think about these? Welcome everyone. I see extra numbers popping on. Okay. So now we're just going to, we're going to punch these out. Now it's, this is going to be kind of plain Jane here, but, um, it will be fine. We'll um, I'll decorate it um, with some little embellishments, and I just smeared that one. So we're gonna flip that one over and stamp on that one. I didn't let that cherry cobbler didn't dry all the way. So, which is really unusual because this the inks, our inks really dry pretty fast. Boy, I did waste a lot of this paper, didn't I? All right, that's okay. We'll just add that to the pile over there. All right, I'm gonna stamp. Um, on the back of this one because it, it um, that's the nice thing about our paper, right? Is it's double sided. So now I can stamp it and I'll add some embellishments to it when um, I get home. So this will be a little bit dressed up and won't be quite so plain. I didn't bring anything like that. I don't know what I was thinking, but that's okay. It all will be fine. Okay, and then we're going to take dimensionals and we'll pop these up. So let's go ahead and, um, I'm, since we're doing like the assembly line, I'm just going to lay them all out upside down. Well, we've got four and our fifth one. We'll put dimensionals on the back of each. And I'm just going to put two on each. This one's got, oh, wait a minute, got a piece of paper stuck to it. He didn't want to come off. Well, I guess we're not using this one because the paper does not want to come off. Look at that. Oh, I think this is one of my paper pumpkin ones. That's probably why. It was stuck on my paper because two of them came up. All right, so we're just going to um, slap these on here. And so you can see um, how easy and fast you can do this by putting uh, using this design, right? So uh, just to recap, you want to um, take your card stock, your 8.5 by 11, and on the eight and a half side at the top, you want to score it four and a quarter, and then move your blade over to five and a quarter, your paper to five and a quarter, and then cut, and then turn your paper so the 11 and a half, 11 is at the top, and then um, you'll cut it in half like you normally would do, and then you've got your two card bases ready to go with your designer series paper. And then your designer series paper, you're going to use a 12 by 12 sheet, and you're going to cut at five and a quarter by 12 and then five and a quarter so you're going to do two cuts at five and a quarter and then that last one inch piece you're going to leave because that's what we're going to use to cut the corners out like we did to put on the inside of the card and then you'll um, put your uh, inside piece your whisper white in there and then attach your paper like we did and then um, we're moving right along so we will put this one I'm just gonna put thanks right here in the center. Oh, yeah, look at that. I stand, I put my things on the wrong side. Let me see if I can pull these off without making any mistakes here. Look at that. I stuck them on the wrong. This is the one that bled. <laughs> Let's see if I can pull it off without messing up my thanks. Keep our fingers crossed. See? We all 
make mistakes. I don't think this one's going to work. No. Nope. All right, we're going to stamp. We'll stamp another one. It's not meant to be. All right, so let's see. We got another red one right here. Okay, so we're going to put thanks here. Let's uh, let's put it right. About, no, let's put it here. We'll do that. All right, so there's one. We'll move it on. And do the. We'll do that one last. And here's a green one. Let's do green. Put that right there. All right, and then this is yellow. I didn't do the uh, bumblebee. We'll do red on this one. How's that? Yeah, I think that would look better. And we'll do a thanks right there. Who knows? One of y'all might get one of these cards. And we'll do um, this. Oh, isn't that pretty? I like that green on the black. Isn't that granny apple green? Don't you just love that? All right, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Let's do uh, let's do the granny apple because I like that color. Even though I, was, I did red initially. Let's do the green. I like that one. This is the one that's missing a piece, but that's okay. We'll fix, I'll fix that tomorrow, or not tomorrow, when I get back home, because I don't have any, um, I didn't bring any extra stuff. I packed enough stuff that my clothes, you'd think we were going away for, you know, three months or something, because I wasn't sure what the weather was going to be, <laughs> and uh, so, thanks, Judy. Um, you never know what the weather's going to be, so we packed for cold and for warm, and, you know, Anyways, all right, so let's throw some uh, dimensionals on this little bad boy here. Hang on a second. Let me grab these little guys. Make sure he's dry. I'm surprised that my uh, cherry cobbler was like that, but that's all right. Okay, move these over here. And I'm working on our little dining room table here. So next, I think next week I'll have to sh I'll give you a, a little view of the RV. It's such a big, spacious area. <laughs> Just joking. All right, so I'm going to put that right there. All right, so this is the piece that I need to put a strip on, right? So we'll put him in the bottom of the pile. But isn't that cute how that turns out? And that way you get to see um, the inside pieces. Isn't that cute? So that's a quick way that you can use up your designer paper and um, show. Now, what I should have done, look what I did. So pay attention to your pattern. I should have flipped this around because, look, when they open the card, I've got the flowers going this way because I wasn't paying attention. So just remember that if you've got a pattern and you're going to flip it over, make sure you've got it laid so that when they open the card, since it's this way, you want to be able to see it. Let's see how I did on... Oh, that's the only one. Okay. Now let me show you the other ones real quick with another set of paper um, from this uh, uh, paper uh, celebration set. So this is the other, so I've got two, let me see what I got. I did two sheets on this one. So here's one that's in, um, in this cute. Oh, I did a thank you on these too. Look at that. Now I got plenty of thank you cards. Um, so the back of this paper, this could be really masculine. You could use that for masculine cards. So this is on pool party. Isn't that pretty? And then this is on cherry cobbler. I love, these are my favorite colors. All right. So then I put the stripes there and then on the inside, we've got our beautiful flowers. And then here's one I did on just uh, just jade, and then we want to open that one up. Now this one I put the same color on it because I was kind of I didn't like the stripes with that. See, I didn't care for that one. Can you see that? So um, we did that. All right, and then here's another set that I did. Now this um, happy birthday. This is a retired um, die, but I needed birthday cards too. So this is Flirty Flamingo, but look at, in this a cute paper, and there's the dots. Isn't that really pretty? I love that. That one's, I think this one's very cheerful. And I had a scrap that I had cut out, and so when I put the adhesive on the back, I just left the yellow, and then I added the paper right next to it for the Flirty Flamingo. Now this one I did in Just Jade, and I did the, the word in Just Jade, but it's a little bit dark. Really can't see it, but I thought I'd try it. And then there's the inside. Isn't that gorgeous? So you see what you so you can show off both sides of your paper, and then here's another one in the flirty flamingo. So again, you're using up your pattern paper, and you can make these pretty quickly. Now this is on a base of card, uh, whisper white, but you can make up a bunch of cards quickly, and just do it as an assembly line. Isn't that nice? And then here's another one I did. Now this one's not so bad with it on the dots. And then, of course, we have the flowers on the inside with the polka dots there. And that I just love this paper. It's so pretty. Our artists are so talented. And then here's another one that I did, and it's got the red stripes. And then there's our inside. And then here's another one. So that gives you an idea of how it works, okay? 
All right, so let me move all of these out of the way. Give me just a minute so I can clean up my area some because um, I need room. We're gonna, we, we got to do some we got to do some coloring. Now we're gonna do some coloring with the donkeys. All right, so let me move this over there. Give me just a minute, and I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way. I've got a paper. No, I moved that one. All right, hang on. Don't go nowhere. So we're still working over here. All right, nobody leave. That's all I can tell you. Don't go anywhere. I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna try to move some stuff. The dog is like my right next to me. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it's really, it's really cute. I'll put the dimensions up, um, on the, uh, page, uh, later when we get done, since I didn't get a chance to do that either. So, all right. Um, if you decide you don't have a demonstrator and you want to do some shopping, this is my December code. Just so while you're waiting for me to get myself organized, I've got to get, we're going to do the donkeys. Hang on. We're doing some coloring. So let me get all of my uh, my stuff out and I'll show you what we're going to make. I've planned on two cards, but we may not have enough time. We'll see. I don't even, I haven't even looked at the clock, so we'll, whoops, we'll see. All right, hang on. Hold on a minute. Let me get all my toys out, all my color. We're going to do some coloring. We're going to use some of the new, um, our new watercolor pens. pens. All right. Let's see. What are we doing here? All right, let's do, let's do this one. Let's see, we'll do this one. All right, give me a second here. Let me get myself organized. And that's, oh, that's the, that's the other one. Okay, let me show you what we're gonna make. Let me pull this one off to the side. All right, well, this is gray granite, just to let you know. And I'll give you the measurements in here in just a minute. Let me get all my coloring tools off to the side for just a second. This is the card. All right, let me show you that. This is a this is a celebration stamp set that you can get. Isn't this the cutest thing? Wait till you see the card that we're gonna make. <laughs> it's so cute. I just love it. You know they're trying to appeal. Remember, you got to remember that we're in all the different countries. So we have um, there's a kangaroo stamp that's in the uh, new catalog. Oh, and um, we have okay. So anyways, here's the donkey and my now my looks like I'm spinning. Okay. Um, isn't this cute? Hee-haw! It's your birthday. Hey there, friend. You're the best. Um, we also, if you all remember a celebration a couple years ago where we had the hay, the hay chick, the chicken that had that weird hairdo on top, you know, it was like a, it had a special name for that chicken. And there was a bigger chicken. Well, that stamp's coming back, but they're in different um, poses. And uh, we just got in our notification today to stay tuned. So something, they're going to be doing something with that stamp set. Oh, I just love it. It's so fun. All right, so this is the stamp set that you can get for free when you place an order of, of $50. And this is what we're going to make. Isn't this, this is a slim line. Isn't that cute? Look at this. It says, hey friend, it's your birthday. Yeehaw! Isn't that the cutest thing? So there you go. I'm like a child at heart. I can't help it. That's just the way I am. All right, so, and then I, I stamped him on a piece of scrap paper and colored him, and, we, and I just cut him on here, placed him on here so we'd have the inside decorated. And this, this one's on cinnamon uh, cider, but we're going to do uh, gray granites, the next one. And I, these are colored in uh, soft, soft suede or crumb cake, and we're going to color the donkey in gray. Okay, so that's what we're going to make. All right, so let's get started. And then we're going to do some water coloring. Now, I don't know if y'all have seen the new water painters. They come three to a set, and there's different size brushes. We're going to use the larger brush, and then there, there's an angled brush, and then there's one that has a tip. I really like, this is the one we're going to use, this big one. Okay, so um, let me get my donkeys out, and I don't have these attached to blocks, and that's my apologies. So we're going to do that, and I've got another block over here. I'll have to switch them off. I wasn't prepared, and that's my, my mistake. So I've got blocks, but they're buried. So we'll just, we'll deal with it. It's, it'll be okay. All right, the dog's getting down. Go on, jump, jump, jump. Okay. All right, so let's do some cutting. All right, now for the slimline card, we're going to cut it at 7.5 by 8.5, and, and we're going to score at half of 7.5 is what? 3 and 3 quarters, right? I put my little measurements right there. So that's the part that I'm going to cut off. So let me open up my, uh, let me move my blends out of the way. 
I don't know why I brought all these blends. I think I brought these blends thinking I needed all those, but I don't think I do because I'm, I think I'm coloring with them, but we'll see. I've got, you know, I hope not. Oh, well, if I need them, I'll have to get, dig them out of the thing. Now that I think about it, I think I am going to, no, no, I won't need them. We're not watercoloring on this card. We're going to watercolor on the next card. <laughs> okay. Let me put this over here. All right. So this is gray granite. Welcome, Carol. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Okay, this is we're doing a slimline with the donkeys. And if you just missed it, this is the card that we're going to be making. This is a celebration set that you can get starting in January with um, any $50 order. Any $50 order. Okay, so 7.5 by 8.5. All right, so this is 8.5, right? So we're going to leave that the way it is. We don't want to cut that off. So we're going to cut this at 7.5. Oh, wait a minute. We want to do it this way, right? No, we don't. I'm going to confuse myself. That's our eight and a half, so I don't want to mess with that one. Seven and a half. We want a long card. And no, I want to cut seven and a half this way. See, I told you. Let me flip it this way because that's the part I want to cut off. We're going to do seven and a half here because this is our eight and a half. All right, so seven and a half. And we're going to cut this. All right, so seven and a half. Cut that off. This is extra. We're going to turn it. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to bring it over. And we're going to uh, score it at three and three quarters, right? So three and three quarters is seven and a half. So three and three quarters will go right about there. And we will score this. All right. And we are good to go. We're going to fold that up. Oh, we got to do some more cutting. Hang on. All right, this piece here is going to be cut at, if this is three and three quarters, we're going to cut this at... Um, three and a half, which it might already be cut. No, it's not. All right, so we're going to cut this at three and a half, and then we're going to uh, move that over. All right, so that's going to be at three and a half. And if our cardstock was cut at, was um, eight and a half, then we're going to cut this at eight and a quarter. All right, so that we're going to make this at eight and a quarter. And we're going to use this side of the paper right here. Just something different. All right, so let's go ahead and I think that's all the cutting I'm going to do. I've already got the, the square whites I cut out with the, uh, with the squares. All right, so we're going to fold this uh, gray granite. I know it's hard to see. And we're going to get that folded and do, give it a good burnish. My dog is licking her feet. She's enough to drive me crazy. I hope I, it feels like I've got a little bit of a... Um, shadow in here and it's driving me crazy. I hope y'all can see. Let me see if I can lower this a little bit. Hang on one second. Um, I, I didn't realize I could bring this down. That might help get us a little bit better there. Right. Okay. So we're going to fold that in half and uh, burnish that. And then I've got a piece of whisper white that's going to go on the inside. And this piece is going to be three and a half by eight. So this one's going to be three and a half by eight. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this now. And let's use our, if I can get my uh, seal to work. I think for some reason, let me do it this way. Um, this, for some reason, it's rolling off the sides a little bit. And um, as you can see, it's a, little, it's a little frustrating. I put my measurements on there. So you see them? That way I wouldn't forget. So... That way I can cover them up when we put this down on the inside. So we'll go ahead and add this to the inside of our card. And this again is cut at, what did we say? Three and a half uh, by eight. There we go. All right, it should probably be eight and a quarter, but that's fine. That's all right, no big deal. All right, and then this one we're gonna place on here. So we're gonna place this on the top and that's gonna be the same size, right? three and a half by eight and a quarter. So let's go ahead and place this down and then we'll stamp our donkeys and start doing a little bit of coloring. And for whatever reason, my seal, there we go. Sometimes you just got to get it going. But you know, once you start it and then if you start back where you um, add previous adhesive, it grabs it and then it goes. So once you get it going, it works fine and it's so quiet compared to what the snail used to be, right? All right, so we're going to place this right on here. And I am going to, bear with me a minute, I'm going to see if I can do this without getting it all, because um, this stuff, you know, this stuff is really sticky. 
All right, I think that's probably going to be pretty even. All right, so let's lay that down there. Okay, all right, so there we go. There's our base. Let me push that down. Okay, now we're going to bring in these squares. You got three, we're going to have three squares. And we've got two that are cut at two and three quarters by three. So you have my little marks. So two and three quarters by three inches. And both of these are the same size. And then this little guy is two by two and three quarters. So two inches by two and three quarters. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and stamp our donkey. So let's bring in our memento black. And we've got, uh, let's see, we've got the little guy that's sitting down. All right, let's do the one that's holding the flower. So we're going to go ahead and ink him up. And this is Memento Black. So we're going to go ahead and place him right in here, or her, whatever. I guess it's a boy or girl. It doesn't matter. All right, so we're going to place him right there. Okay, no. And then, oops, we don't want to do that. Let me clean this one because I need my block. All right, peel him off. And then we're going to do the sitting down donkey. So we'll do him here. And he's going to go on the little piece. I've got a fold there. So, all right, so we're going to put him right about here. Let me make sure I get him on the card. There we go. I'm trying to do this without standing up, which is a little hard for me. I keep wanting to re ink him, and I don't need to re ink him. All right, and then the next donkey we need is the little guy is kicking up his feet. So I need to pull him out so we can stamp him. He's so cute. And we're going to put him on here. I've seen some really cute cards made with this. Have y'all seen this? Um, these cards? Anybody making these cards? We're gonna. I'm going to move him up just a little bit so it looks like he's kicking up his heels really good. And we're going to stamp him right about there. All right. Okay, good. And then we'll come back and stamp our sentiments. But let's go ahead and do our coloring, and we'll come back and do that last. So let me just wipe this off real quick. Pull that one out. Okay. All right. So let's get uh, to coloring here. So I am going to use, I think I brought my gray granite. Let's see what colors we have here. Yes, I have our gray granite. I think I'm going to do gray, and I've got some... Uh, Smoky slate because I'm going to do his hoofs, and then we got the we got Jess Jade for the grass, petal pink for his ears and his face. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead, and I didn't bring um. Well, well, you know what? We're going to make it work. We'll make a uh, the flower. I forgot to bring something for the flower, but we'll we'll figure it out. Okay, so let's bring in the. Um, I'm going to start with the um, the dark gray granite. And we're going to color, and I'm going to start with the smaller tip. Let's move these guys out of the way. I'm going to start with a smaller tip, and this is the dark, because I'm going to go around and do a little bit of uh, shading. And I just want to go with where um, I think the artist, and I'm just making little sw um, swirls there. And um, I'll probably do a little bit on his ears. Oops, that's probably not where it should go. That's going to be pink, but anyways, it's all right. And I'll do a little bit here. And then I think I'll do some down here. And this part right here will probably have a little shadow. All right. And then I'm going to come back. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but there's a train going by. And we're going to, whoops, I'm going to do my, uh, this is the light gray granite. So I'm going to come back and um, color with the, gray, with the light gray. And I put some gray down there, but that's all right. And then we got these little swirly dews of his hair sticking up, so I'm just going to kind of color those. And then we'll come back and um, we'll do some more shading after we get this colored in. And I'll probably, let me swirl these in here and, and um, try to lighten that up a little bit. And I'm going to use, let me use this one. And then I'm going to bring in the big tip and make it a little bit easier. We're going to come down, then we're going to color his hoofs. Um, we're going to use the smoky slate. We'll use the dark one for that. So we're going to color his little legs. We'll do this little leg right there. And I'm just going to bring, try to bring in, I'll come back and do, um, I'm going to use the, the bigger tip. Just when you have an open area, it's a little bit easier to use that, the bigger tip. So we'll just pull this in. might leave a little shading there. 
And let's come back a little bit, just a little bit more. We won't spend a lot of time, but we'll do a little bit, make, make these a little bit darker on the ears. And let's do some more shadowing. Let's put some shadows right here. Oh, we gotta do his tail. I almost forgot that one. We'll make that a little darker. How's that? And, okay. We'll do a little bit there. All right, this is such a cute set. All right, let me come back and do a little bit more blending. And you know, it's it's. However, you know, if y'all are just starting out the, the, with the blending, it just takes practice. Um, and as you all can see, I I learn all the time. I learn every day. I'll be the first day. I don't know how to do something, but I enjoy this. It's so relaxing. It's so much fun. And I really um, will be glad whenever we can get back and do it in person. And stay tuned because I've got some new classes that I'm going to be um, coming out with first of the year. Okay, so now I'm going to come back with the um, the dark smoky slate because I'm going to color his hooves. I probably should have done each um, donkey, but we'll do them separate. And we're going to color his hooves. They're going to be like black. So we'll just do that. All right. Okay, and then we're going to come in with the petal pink. I'm going to do the petal pink dark. Gosh, it's already after 8 o'clock. We might not get to the other card. I might save that one for the for another week because i got another card we're going to do, but we may end up just doing this one. All right, so I'm going to color this part of his face um, with the petal pink. And I'm going to do the inside of his ear here, and I'm going to do a little bit right here. Isn't that cute? And then we're going to do his flower. So um, I know I have green, so let's color the leaf. And I'll have to, I might bring in the um, cherry cobbler. Because I can do, um, I can use one of the blenders. And then we'll use the, let's see, the light, uh, light soft suede. Now I guess his, the branch went, that needs to be green. I was getting ready to make that thing brown. We need to make this green. The little stem to the flower, and we'll we'll color that uh, yellow, um, red. As soon as I get to that part, okay. So we'll come back and do that, and then we got to stamp the sentiments, anyways. All right, so let's go ahead and um, leave him sit right there for just a second. Actually, let me see if I can pull in a little bit of the red. Hang on a second. And oops, let me do it this way. Oh, this one doesn't hasn't even um, had any squish in it. The these newer pads are a little bit harder to squish. Um, there we go. We got a little bit. So we'll just take our um, water pencil or water painter, and I'm going to get the one that has a fine tip. This one doesn't have any water in it. So give me just a second, and we'll um, we'll share with the one that does. I just need just enough to get it wet. Actually, I'll just squirt some water on it. This Look how big this one is. Look at that. So I'm just going to wet this. I just need just enough to get some color on it. So, And we're just going to do a little dippy-doo there so I've got enough. Alright, and we're just going to put a little red on the rose. I brought my uh, watercolor pencils. I bought an adult coloring book. And I haven't colored in a while. And um, so I brought that all right, let me get my, um, so I thought if I have time, I might relax and do some coloring in my coloring book. All right. Okay, that's good with that. So we're going to put this aside. I'm going to clean it off on, clean it off on your uh, paper towel, and that keeps them clean. Let me move this out of the way, because red, you know how that goes, tends to get all over everything. Okay, so. We'll come back and use this little dude in just a minute. Let's finish coloring the donkeys and put our sentiments, and then we'll be done with our card. So uh, let's pull in our uh, gray granite again. And we want to make sure gray granite and smoky slate look just alike. So this is our gray granite. This is the dark. And this is the light. Okay, so let's come in with the dark. And we'll, again, we'll do some... We'll do some shading on his little belly. I think we're going to go past 8 o'clock, you guys. I think it already is at past 8 o'clock. So um, we'll try to get this done here soon. I won't take up too much time. And let's do his little tail. All right, let's do a little bit of, on his belly there. Okay. All right, we can come back with 
this guy I'm going to use the big tip hopefully I can stay in the lines with this one I'm going to try to pull that ink down we'll come over here and pull that down we'll get in here with this um, with this belly try to pull that ink in as well all right let's do his face and try to stay within the lines which is always hard isn't it so you just have to be careful and patient sometimes we want it to happen too fast right all right and then we're going to come down with his legs All right, there's that. This is going together pretty. Let's color the other one while I got it out. Might as well kill two birds with one stone, huh? And then the cute. Doesn't he look like um, Eeyore? Is it Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh? Oops, wait a minute. This is the light. Let me go back with the dark. Not that it matters, but let me uh, do a little shading. You can do it either way. It doesn't matter. Um, on the donkey, because you can do whatever you would like. You know, it's your card. And I think we'll have a little bit down here, a little darker down here in this area. Okay, since he's sitting down. Okay, now let's come back and fill in. Let's go ahead and try to blend these colors. And just pull them towards the center. And I'm just making little swirls. Um, and again, it's whatever works for you. There's no, I don't think there's any right or wrong way. It's whatever works. And the more you practice doing this, the easier it seems like it becomes, you know. You start learning um, how to shade. I don't, I'm, you know, it's taken me a little bit of time to do that, the shading aspect, and um, but you get the hang of it. And it's just practice, you know. You just gotta practice and practice and practice. All right, so let's do his little hairs and his face. Aren't they just so cute? And then the more the more um, ink that you apply the darker it will get so you can you know I could I could just keep adding this and darkening it darkening it up if I wanted and um, so we'll just come down a little bit more and make sure we get his leg covered all right I think that's good okay now we're gonna come back and with our smoky slate and we're gonna do the dark because I want his um, hoofs these are dark oh I gotta do his face so we'll come back and do that too all right so we're gonna um, Put the smoky slate here on his hoofs so they look dark I guess they could have been dark brown huh and we're gonna color his little hooves here all right and then whoopsie and then this one and I just noticed right there I missed a part of his leg so I'm gonna come back and color that real quick all right so we're gonna get that in there and make sure we get all his hoofs covered and color that okay and I'm thinking that that is something I don't know if that's oh that's neck hair we're gonna make that a little dark right there we'll come back and sh um, let's do that let's just pull this down a little bit this is yeah this is nope we don't want to do smoky slate we want to do our gray granite let me see hang on a minute I gotta look at my colors this is dark we want the gray we want the light one all right, so we're going to pull that down. Okay. All right, now we're going to come back with Petal Pink, the dark, and color his face. Muzzle, I guess is what you'd call it, right? And the inside of his ear. And let's do his little face. I guess this could have probably, we could have probably done this um, like a darker gray or a black even. But that's all right. We're going to... Doesn't this look like a smiley face right there? Two dots. Doesn't that look like the eyes of a smiley face? So, <laughs> so. Oh, welcome if you're just joining us. I'm Dawn Duvall with Shall We Stamp. All right, and we are working with Darling Donkeys, which are in the new celebration catalog coming out in January that you can get for free. All right, now we're going to take this new water uh, water pa painter. And I've already got water in here and it's wet. So we're going to come back. Um, let's see if I'm going to do... Nope, you know what? I don't think I'm going to use this yet. 
Nope, I'm going to use the blends. This one goes on the next. I think this one we're going to use, well, I won't do it tonight, but we're going to make another donkey card because I have another one. And we'll do that uh, the next time because I don't think we're going to have time. All right, so I'm just going to have them um, with some, like, the grass. So I'm just going to kind of take the watercolor pencil. This is the light, just jade. So I'm just going to kind of come around so it's like he's jumping up in the grass. Um... And they're really whatever you want to do to make the grass. He's just a happy little donkey. And then this poor little guy, he's just sitting there. So we're just going to make him sit like he's sitting on the grass too. Okay. And then this guy, he's in love. So we're going to put some green in between his legs. So it looks like the grass is behind him. And then we'll do our sentiments. And then we'll come back and put it together. So if you're just joining us or you didn't see the card, you'll get to see what it's going to look like in just a few minutes here. All right, how's that? Okay, and we'll do another donkey another day because I think we're um, running a little bit on time here. Okay, so let's pull in our sentiment or sentiments as soon as I find my block. Here it is. All right, so we are going to stamp. And if y'all, when you know, you these cling stamps, you know what I do? Because they're really clingy and not that you want to complain. I stick them on my shirt or on my pants and kind of takes a little bit of the tackiness off. So um, you don't feel like you're like pulling everything off, right? Okay, so the first one, let's see. Now the order we're going to put them in, we're going to do like this. I'm going to make it just like the other one. All right, so this one we're going to stamp, hey there, friend. So we're going to... Uh, Ink that up with our Memento Black. Make sure we get some ink on it. All right, I guess I need to ink this up. There we go, I got some ink there. Hang on a minute. I'm gonna put that right there. Yeah, okay, so get some ink. And we're gonna stamp this right here. Hey there, friend. All right, and then we're gonna come back. And all of these, uh, all of these sentiments and stuff are in the same stamp set. Now we're going to put it's your, it's your birthday. So we're going to keep it just like the one we just did. All right, so bear with me. I'm just going to put the birthday stamp on there. And we're going to put this. Um, where's my stamp? We're going to put this one underneath here. Because we're going to put balloons on him. We make some balloons, okay? So it's your birthday. And then we're going to take my favorite word those of you that are um old enough will know remember the the show called hee haw we show in our age all right i just want to make sure i got a little bit too much one side is kind of dry and one side's not inked up enough so give me just a second here get some ink on the hee haw on the he okay and then we're going to put him over here because he's kicking up his heels we're going to put that right over here hee haw look at that okay all right, and then the last thing, well, not the last thing, it's almost the last thing. We are going to move this stuff out of the way. I've got some, um, hang on, i got that little bag of goodies here. I punched out some, um, I think they're, I think it was a 3 8 and it's a retired circle punch. Um, I punched out some, I think they're 3 8 I don't think they're quite a half an inch but they're three-eighths of an inch. And I, I just cut out three little circles to make balloons. And we are going to um, put these on here. So first we're gonna add, we're gonna pop all of these little guys up on dimensionals. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of these. Put one in the center. And put that there. And for those of the, you that are just joining me, I always, sometimes I'll put my, um, my measurements on the back of my card so I don't forget so that's what the that's what the writings for but that's the nice thing about having that two-sided paper right I'm not gonna put them on him yet because we're gonna put the balloons on the little donkey so hang on all right let me get all our uh, dimensionals on here put one in the center so it doesn't fall flat okay so those guys are ready now this one we're gonna put a little many dimensionals on the back of each of these circles so bear with me one second i have um uh let's see we have flirty flamingo and then we have a um 
bumblebee. And then I cut a piece of retire. I think this is. Oh, sorry, my dog hears somebody outside. My apologies. Um, this is a piece of the, one of the designer series Christmas papers. And I like the, the blue color, so that's why I chose this one. All right, so we're going to put um, these on here. And I've brought uh, some of the, uh, I think it's the blue and gray um, Baker's twine that's in one of the, one of, and I don't know, I don't know if this is retired, if it's still current, but I don't, I'm not sure. So I just grabbed it because I thought, well, I need something to make some strings with. So we're going to make some balloon strings. Bear with me. And I am going to, well, I brought my dimensionals, but I think they're in my bag. So I'm just going to put a little dot of, um, actually, I'll do my adhesive. Now I better do this. Let me put some dots here. Hang on a minute. Make sure I can get my glue to come out. There we go. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of dot right there so I can get the adhesive uh, to stick. So I want these um, strings to sit down. And we might have to trim them up. So give me just a second while we uh, place these. And I'm just going to place one there. I'll cut. I'll come back and cut it. If I had my normally, I would use my oopsie. Sorry, um, I'd use my. Um, Oops, I gotta, hang on a minute. Uh, um, what are they called? My uh, mini glue dots. But we're gonna use the, uh, to hold the strings down, but we'll use the, the circles, it, it'll be all right. So we're gonna put that there. And we're gonna put one over here and we'll do a little, and I'm gonna trim up these uh, strings. So, and then I'm gonna place one, bring him down just a little bit, put that there, and pull him over here. You don't want to stay there. All right, and then we've got one more with my circle. Actually, I think I'm going to put him on top of the other two. And we'll place a little string in here. Get that glued down. Put a little, I'll uh, go back and, all right, let me trim this up. But I'm going to make it look like, hang on a second. And my scissors are in my bag too, but that's all right. We'll work with these little guys. That's why I have ribbon scissors because this is what happens. That if you don't, if they're not sharp enough, they tend to get a little. They don't cut really good, right? So I just hold it taut. There we go. We'll trim all that up, and let's add a little piece of adhesive. Right, I'm gonna put a little dot right there to hold this in place. We'll slide that guy right under there. So it looks like we've got three. There we go. We got our balloons. Whoops. Get back in there. Hang on. Got to get him in there so he'll sit tight. Give him just a minute to adhere. Let me stick my scissors down there. All right. And then we can tie if we want to try to tie. Let's just um, do a loop. I'm going to cut this down. It might be a little bit easier. We'll tie a little loop around him. To around the uh, and get it to where we can cut it off and not. All right, hang on. All righty. So we'll just pick those up and we're going to tie this around it and just tie it into a knot. Hopefully that doesn't look funny. Um, we'll see. You know how sometimes they tie the bows and or the balloons in a little thingy. All right. If I can get my, the only thing about the baker's, there we go. We'll just pull that a little bit and then we'll trim that down. We'll get that pulled tight. Okay. And then I'm going to trim these really short because it's going to look um, funny that we have all these um, strings hanging out. So give me just a second. I'm going to hold that tight and cut that one. And then I'm going to cut this one. All right. Move those out of the way. Okay. And we're just going to leave those like that. All right, now we're going to pop these up on dimensionals. Let me move all this mess out of the way. Let me get some more dimensionals for this little boy or girl, I guess. And um, then we will wrap this up. And I'll save the, the other card that we're going to do for another evening. So that'll work. Because I only made one card for one uh, the last class. So this will give us a second one. Okay, so now we're going to bring in our cards um, card base. 
All right, and we're down. We're on the downhill slide, everybody. Thank you for being patient. I know I've run past my time, and um, I don't like to do that. But unfortunately, if the I know the person knocking at the door was being polite to let us know we left our light on in the car. Okay, so I'm just going to attach these, and I'm going to um, line them up. So I'm going to do this one um, probably right about here because I want to try to keep them even, right? So I'm going to lay this one here. And let me go over a little bit more because I think I need, hang on a second, let me lift this guy up. I think he needs to go over a little bit more. I'm going to lay him right about there. And then this one, yeah, we'll put him right near the edge. So these are going to be on each end. Hang on a second. Um, make sure if you haven't um, uh, commented on my on the cards this evening, and if you share your video and make your comments, then your name will go in a drawing and you will receive these cards in the mail. And um, for last week, I, as again, as I told you, I will um, draw the names tomorrow and I'll post them to the page, uh, um, along with the, um, actually, I'll do the measurements again. I'll have those on, the line, on there as well because I didn't have time to, to uh, write everything up like I normally do. All right, and then this guy we're gonna put up um, a little bit higher because he's the he's the one that's the star of the show so we're gonna move him right up there and let me clear all this out of the way we'll do the water coloring on the next one so there you go there's our other donkey card and then here's the one that I did earlier and then this is the one that we made now um, well I would stamp like I did on this one, I, for those that may have joined and didn't see it, I stamped and uh, fussy cut the little donkey and put him on the inside of the card. All right, so this is the card that we made. And then let me pull in the cards that we made on the One Sheet Wonder. And I'll put those measurements and everything on the um, Facebook page as well. So there's our donkeys. And then here are the cards that we made with the One Sheet Wonder where it shows both sides of your paper. All right, there you go. So quick and easy way that you can make your cards. Um, in this particular One Sheet Wonder, you're making five cards. Normally I have One Sheet Wonders that we do like 10 to 12. All right, so there you go, everyone. Thank you so much for taking time from your uh, Tuesday evening to spend with me. And my apologies, it's now 825, so um, normally I try to stick to it to, to an hour, but unfortunately tonight we're an hour and a half. So thank you again. I really appreciate your uh, joining me. And if you have any questions or need anything, please reach out and let me know. I would love to um, have you join my team if you're interested. You don't have to be uh, one to teach classes. You can do what we call to, as a hobbyist or a discount shopper. So you get a discount. So um, thank you again, and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye now.